TDORs ask for uh, our technique for removing gutta percha. So this came, this case came in last week, and it's a root canal that I had done back in 1998. Hadn't heard from uh, the patient uh, until last week, and she came in and swollen and quite a bit of pain, and she's obviously got uh, a failing uh, endodontic treatment on that tooth. I probed it. it. It probed normally. So just some of the things that go through my mind, uh, besides just the obvious things on this, is back in 1998, what I did is I packed the uh, furcal floor with a thin layer of a glass ionomer, and then on top of that, I put a helium molar. So we're pretty close to the furcal floor here, and the problem in these cases is just simply finding uh, the canals without completely destroying the tooth and uh, avoiding uh, going through the frication. I happen to have pictures from back then of what the furcal floor looked like and what the canals looked like. So this was a little helpful to me because uh, I kind of had a, have a sense of where the canals are. Um, so that's one reason to always take uh, pictures. So this is the tooth today, uh, and she's in pain and uh, pretty swollen. So our approach here is I'm going to remove the um, heliomolar and glass ionomer, find the canals, and then remove the gutta percha and place calcium hydroxide if I can. Uh, she was scheduled for an hour and a half, and that's usually enough time. Some of the things that go through my mind, of course, is I want to take the gutta percha out and not enlarge the canals any at all. Uh, so I don't really want to put any rotary files down in there. Um, I'm worried about a furcal perf here. This was uh, back at a time when we enlarged these canals quite a bit more than we do today. So in my mind is always this picture that I made for Roy Nassari, um, uh, extracted tooth that he sent me. So I'm always thinking of these kind of furcal perfs and invaginations of the root. And here I've got the glass ionomer. I'm thinking of the furcal perf. So there's a lot of things that are kind of going through our mind, some of the risks to treatment uh, in this. Uh, and obviously, we have to manage the apical situation at all it, 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 as well. So here we are. I'm, I'm making an access uh, into the crown. And um, I don't really like going in there and taking the uh, buildup material out with the diamond. It, it just seems harder to me. Uh, I can't see with the handpiece. Uh, so I tend to do this with an ultrasonic. I don't know if it's because I own the ultrasonic company that makes these tips or if I'm just simply unbiased or too biased. But I do this with ultrasonic tips instead of a round burr or a diamond uh, simply because I can see. So the first thing to do is to find one canal, find the gutta percha if you can, and that gives you kind of a landmark of where you are in the case. And then... Um, I'll just use the, the, the series of uh, ultrasonic tips, either a ball or a pear or a CT4, and I have joy there with the suction and the strap go blowing the dust away. And I can be pretty sure of just simply removing the helium molar and the glass ionomer and not really digging in to the furcal floor or risking a, a furcal perf here. Um, you have pretty good both tactile sense of removing this material and visual sense. Then I take a UT4, uh, turn the water off, and simply press it down into the gutta percha to make a hole uh, in the gutta percha where my chloroform is going to go. So I go into all four canals with the dry UT4, and it creates uh, a channel uh, that lets me flow uh, chloroform into this space. Then I take the chloroform flood the chamber with chloroform. You can see Joy is right on top of the uh, tooth there, so I don't uh, flow it over. And then I take the forceps and I just pump it. Uh, all four canals. I'll go through maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 files, get the gut percha uh, dissolved, and then I go in and I irrigate with chloroform. And here again, you can see uh, she's right on top of the tooth, uh, I did use an M4 here. I don't have pictures of using uh, the M4, uh, but I did use it halfway uh, through the procedure. So that helped a little bit uh, with the time factor. Then I'll go in and I'll do what's called a wicking. So we go in and we wick these canals after we've got 
uh, done our irrigation with chloroform. And I'll do this wicking maybe five or six, seven times uh, until all the gutta percha is out of the canal. The wicking is really the secret. Uh, and then we just go in with, we take our measurements and we go in and I, I'll pack with uh, calcium hydroxide. And that's what the finished case uh, looks like. And uh, we'll be packing this case uh, when we see some radiographic resolution. And at the second visit, I'll probably do some more work apically uh, just to make sure uh, that the apical end of the root is properly instrumented.